Go find him and tell him all of this. Tell him to ask my father for my hand in marriage. To prove my love for him, you'll give him a statuette in my image. You're suspicious. Ask your questions and I'll answer them. If I love him, he must feel the same. The goddess would not want it otherwise. Am I not her adopted daughter? Have I not honored her every day of my life? How could she allow me to love, unrequited? A grand priestess of Tanith cannot leave her temple, nor set aside the rites. I have strict rules to follow. The priestesses, my followers, would gladly render me such a service. But they talk too much and the entire city would learn of my secret in no time. There is no love lost between us. My father is a man of power who would like to handle my marriage as he makes alliances. Talking to him about my preferences would only irritate him. No, Matho is the one who must speak to him. He is powerful, respected, and my father will listen to him. How do you expect to leave the city without my help? And once you've gotten past the ramparts, then what do you plan to do? Set off alone in the desert? The slave hunters would find you for sure. No. You will need Matho's help to find shelter and protection. I'm not afraid of you. I only need raise my voice, and 15 guards will materialize, ready to shoot you on sight. Have you noticed the carriage and mounts in the yard? A convoy is preparing to leave Carthage. It's the escort of Hanan, the treasurer, who will soon be leaving to go pay the mercenaries. Hide yourself in the bags, and you can leave the city without being detected. Quickly, may Tanith guide you. Have you noticed the carriage and mount? Following Salambo's advice, the fugitive hides in Hanan the treasurer's bags. This ruse makes it possible to leave the sacred precinct, and then the city, without being stopped. Hanan and his escort are on their way to pay mercenaries that are camped outside of the ramparts. These men served Carthage during a lengthy war with Rome that was eventually lost. They are impatiently waiting to receive the money that is still owed them. After a short walk, Hanan stops in front of the mercenary camp. The treasurer lectures the men while his interpreter translates for those who do not understand Carthaginian. Hanan orders the Gallic mercenaries to present themselves first, to receive what is due them. The others will then follow in turn. During this speech, Spendius leaves his hiding place. Hindered by the chains around his hands, he unfortunately drops the statuette he was to give to Matho. How will the mercenary chief react when he receives his gift, broken in pieces? A distressing question, for Spendius needs Matho's protection if he is to escape the Carthaginians who will be looking for him. Who are you, and what are you doing in the mercenary camp? You, a merchant with your wrists in chains and the demeanor of a hunted animal? You're making fun of me. Leave here and thank the gods that I'm in a good mood. Who are you, and what are you doing in the mercenary camp? See, Matho, what does a vagrant such as yourself want with Matho? You're a curious messenger. But all right, answer Matho's tent. He can judge for himself. I heard you speak to my guard, Spendius. What is this gift that you bring me? Let me see it. 
That's your gift? All I see is a broken object. Explain yourself before your skull is in the same condition as this statue. Salambu. By the seven Kabiris, the memory of her beauty is sheer torture. I would like to envelop her, absorb her, and drink her. But you tell the truth. She is really the one who sent you. Repair the statuette and show me. Then I'll know whether...